You know, everybody wants one Git command to delete both local and remote Git branches. And I'm here to tell you that it's not quite that easy. We're actually gonna to have to issue two commands, the Git branch delete command to delete the local Git branch. And then we'll actually have to do a Git push origin delete branch name to delete that remote Git branch. But it's not that difficult. Hi, I'm, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at theserverside.com. And we got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps, Scrum, you name it. And I just wanna show you how easy it is to delete local and remote branches. And in order to do that, I've set up a, a GitHub repository. It's called Branch Insanity. And it's only got one lonely branch in it, a branch called main. And I'm actually gonna go and create a new branch, real easy to do in GitHub. You just type in the name of the branch, click that Create Branch Alpha button, and then GitHub goes and does its thing, and well, it creates a new branch. Um, and there we go, we've got two branches there. We've now got the main branch, and we have the alpha branch. Once that's done, I'm gonna clone that repository, because what I wanna do is I wanna take those two branches, bring them down to my local Git repo, and then from my local Git repo, delete the remote one. Then I'll delete that Git branch locally as well. So to do that, I issue a clone command. So git clone, the name of the branch, the name of the GitHub repository that whose URL I just copied, that brings it all down. Then I can just navigate into that folder and issue that git branch-a command which lists all of my branches. And you can see that, well, uh, currently on the main branch, the main branch is a local branch. Uh, alpha is only referenced through remote tracking branch right now. So you can see two remote tracking branches, one for alpha and main, um, but only main is local. So I'm gonna actually do a git switch and say git switch alpha. And then after doing the git switch alpha, I can do a git branch dash a. And now that tells me that, okay, alpha and main are both local branches. Um, and I'm actually gonna switch back to main as well. It's gonna make my life a little bit easier in the future. Okay, so what do I wanna do next? Well, I wanna actually delete that remote branch named alpha. How do I do it? You gotta do a git push command. And you say git push origin which is the name of that remote repository, git push origin, double dash delete, and then the name of that remote git branch you wanna delete. So git push origin, double dash delete, alpha, click enter, and boom, all of a sudden, it tells me that that remote branch is deleted, but I'm from Missouri, so I wanna make sure I need to be show, Missouri is a show me state. And so I come over here, I do a refresh, right? I, I, I wanna make sure I refresh. And after doing a refresh, you can see there's only one branch remaining over here. The only branch remaining over here is that main branch. So the delete of that remote branch was successful. But I'm not done yet. I'm gonna do a git branch dash a command. Now you can see that the remote tracking branch for alpha has been removed. So that's good. We've got the remote branch removed, the remote tracking branch for alpha removed, but that alpha branch is actually still there. We need to delete it from our local repository. Now I did a trick earlier. I actually switched off of the alpha branch onto main. You can't delete a branch if you're on it. Um, but I'm not on that alpha branch. I'm on the main branch right now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to delete that local branch named alpha. And that's easy, you just say git branch, double dash, delete, and then the name of the branch is called alpha. Click enter and boom, it now tells me branch deleted, it was, gives me the ID of the branch, and if I do a git branch dash a command right now, well, look at that. It tells me that that branch named alpha is completely gone. So there you go. That is like a full round trip on how to actually, well, not only create a remote branch in GitHub, but after you've created that remote branch in GitHub, it shows you how to actually pull that whole repository down to your local machine. Once you've got that local repository down onto your machine, I did a couple of movements between branches just to make sure that they were local. Um, and then we issued that git 
push origin delete command, specified the name of that remote branch, and boom, that remote branch was deleted. That just left us to delete the local branch as well. And as you can see, that was just a simple git branch double dash delete the name of the branch and boom, that branch was completely deleted. So there you go. That's how easy it is to delete local and remote branches in Git. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials over there about Git, GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, cloud computing. I do a lot of writing about Java and uh, DevOps. Um, and we got lots of great contributors as well. So head over there and check out some of the stuff that we're doing. I would also encourage you to follow me on Twitter. Um, so I post a, a lot of the stuff that I'm writing, a lot of stuff that I do over on Twitter. I would love to have you over there. Um, and, uh, and what else? Well, I would say subscribe on YouTube. Uh, I've been posting a lot of material on YouTube as well, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So ring the bell, subscribe. There's lots of more great Git, GitHub, DevOps content to come. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. If you think I'm filibustering, I am. And the reason I'm filibustering is because on YouTube, if your videos don't hit the eight minute mark, um, they don't promote them as much as, as other videos. And the reason for that is after the eight minute mark, uh, they can push an ad up. If it's less than eight minutes, they can't do the ad, but if it's eight minutes, they can do the ad. So I'm sitting here looking at like two minutes and 30 seconds to go in order to push this past the eight minute mark. So I'm just gonna keep filibustering until I've hit that mark. But something that might interest you is uh, I do a lot of Java development. So I wrote a book called uh, Hibernate Made Easy all about Java. And a lot of people wonder why that book's cover is so ugly. And there's actually a good reason for that. And the reason for that is because I wrote another book called Pickering is Springfield. It's all about how the uh, town of Springfield in The Simpsons is all based on Pickering, Ontario. A lot of people don't realize that. They think it's based on something in Seattle, but it's not. And uh, finally, um, I also helped out one of the contributors on the server side is Darcy DeClute, and she wrote this awesome Scrum Master certification guide. So I know that a lot of people that are doing Git, um, working with GitHub, well, they're probably also doing agile software development and Scrum is the number one agile software development framework out there. Um, and so if you really want to advance your career, you might want to pick up a copy of that book. So there you go. That's the Scrum Master Certification Guide, Hibernate Made Easy, Pickering is Springfield, all available on Amazon. And have I hit the eight minute mark here yet? I have? Okay, well, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a little thing or two about how you can very easily delete local and remote Git branches.